All right, guys, what's up? Uh, I was able to make it out diving again this last weekend. I made it back up to Canyon Ferry to a place called uh, the Junkyard. And I guess it's called that because there's a bunch of stuff down there. There's a foundation to an old house and a bunch of car parts and things like that. And I guess there's like a cement teepee kind of thing. Um, all stuff that's been there since before, like 1948, 1950, when, when the new dam was completed and the water rose up over all this stuff. So that's kind of cool. We got to boat dive this time, which is always awesome. Um, I think it's a, a lot cooler going down the anchor line versus diving offshore. But And you can just see how silty the water is as I'm going down. I mean, and you have to expect that with Canyon Ferry, but... It was just crazy because I mean, you can see as I'm going down, the, the depth under the boat where we were was I think about 28 or 30 feet. And just that depth because of all the silt in the water, it, it got really dark down there. You can see in a second, yeah, when I bring my flashlight out, there it is. Um, it's just crazy that just 30 feet down, that silt just blocks out all the light. But one thing that was cool about this dive is the bottom. I mean, you could see how it was. It was a kind of a gravel like that. And that was just super nice because you didn't have to worry about kicking up a bunch of dust when you were down there. And I think it just kind of looked cool. And you can see I was looking at my compass right there. Um, one thing I never realized about diving until I actually did it was it's super easy to get disoriented when you're down there just because you don't have any landmarks to look at. And I mean, you can only see like maybe 10 feet around you depending on, depending on the day. So it's just super easy to veer off to one side or another. And I think my compass was sticking a little bit today because uh, we ended up in a way different spot than we thought. And we're trying to go in a straight line and we didn't, but yeah, some more fishing stuff. I couldn't tell, I still am not sure if that was a real fish that they baited hooks through or if it was actually a fake, but it felt like it was really real. So I didn't end up taking it back just because I didn't want to stick a dead fish in my pocket. But yeah, I usually keep stuff like that just because I'm a, I kind of have a little collection of uh, fishing stuff I found while I was diving, but it's more beer bottles. I never, I don't think I've ever dove in Canyon Ferry and didn't uh, come across some beer cans or beer bottles like that, but uh, yeah, and this little thing, I was not sure what that was. I mean, after I picked it up, I felt that it was definitely rubber and it's got to be some kind of fake worm or something like that, but I was really hesitant to grab it because it looked, it looked really weird, kind of nasty under there, but yeah, we didn't end up seeing the foundation of that house I mentioned, but that's one thing about Canyon Ferry. I've been doing a lot of research, and there's a lot of stuff down there just because, I mean, there was a whole town, the, the old town of Canyon Ferry and the old dam. I mean, when they put the new dam in, all that stuff got covered up, and it's all down there. So that's that's something I've been trying to researching lately and trying to look through old maps and stuff, figure out where stuff was so I can try to find it when I die. And that's been really cool. I'm, I'm looking forward every time I go back, just trying to explore more and see if I can find the, the stuff that I've seen on the maps that I know is there. But found another golf ball. Can add that to my collection. I'll have to go out to the driving range at some point once I get a, a good enough pile and uh, play golf with all the all the golf balls I found when I'm on the bottom of Canyon Ferry. Yeah, and the thing I'm looking at now that you can see is a big drag mark along the bottom from from an anchor dragging, which kind of confused me when I was down there because when we were on the surface, there wasn't another boat around us, and it's definitely not where our anchor should have been, or so I thought, based on where I thought we were, but I mean, we had thought we were going in a straight line all the way all the way along on the bottom, and uh, when in reality, we'd done like a half circle and made it back to our own anchor line, so that goes to show how easy it is to not realize where you are when you're down there. And the guy I was with wanted to pop up to the service real quick so we could get our bearings again, which was probably a good idea, but yeah, I cut that part out. We just popped up top real quick, got a new compass reading, and then came back down. And we found this pretty quick. This is, I believe it's part of an engine block or uh, half of some old engine, which was, was pretty cool to find that down there. I guess there's a couple of these, but we only just found the one. Um, I saw, there we go, in that little hole I'm taking the rock away from, there was a crawdad sticking its head out of there. Which, I mean, just a crawdad, but it was kind of cool just because I'd never... That's the first one I've seen while I was diving, so that was kind of cool. But Didn't end up getting him out. He had a little... He had a pretty good spot there. 
I think we, we saw another one. Yeah, right here. This little guy was quick, but I was able to grab him. It was a tiny little guy, but it was cool seeing some stuff down there. But yeah, uh, hope you liked the video. Um, definitely leave a like or subscribe. Let me know in the comments or with a like if you like the way I did this video with the uh, commentary um, along through the whole thing. I'm just kind of trying this out to see how it is. But yeah, have a good one.